Welcome to Samster Games, the place to find new strategy games, and today we're going to play a game called Future Pool. Now, if it seems familiar to you, that's because we already played a game from the same developer called Future Snooker. And if you know me, you know I absolutely love snooker. And he made a second game called Future Pool, and it comes out on 20th of December, but I was lucky enough to get a pre-release version, so we'll play it here together now. There are quite a lot of differences to the way the regular pool is played here, which makes the game a lot more difficult, which I think is a lot more fun. So we're going to start a new game. We're going to play a solo game on the blue surface. You can also be on the green surface. And then here you can pick different types of setups. So we're going to start this off with... So let me show you all of them to you. This is this actually Tenjuko is interesting because you have three black balls. Amzu is two. We're going to start off with... Uh, Ducking, then we'll probably play some other one just to show it off. We're gonna play against Bok, Scar, Bob, and let's go now. I said it differs in rule, rule, so how does it differ in rule? First of all, you always alternate turns. Okay, so this is super important. So normally in pool, if you pocket your colorful or half color, then you can continue the turn, right? Not here, you always switch. Now, this makes this game a lot more difficult. Why? Well, think about it. If you always pocket one, ball right as you would expect then always the first one wins so we have to pocket more than one ball all right so i'm gonna try to go with this red and hopefully i'll be able to hit both of the corner corner red ones but we don't want to go too strong maybe like that oh we get only one well at least we got something we're technically the first so we don't need to pocket two balls unless he does but yeah it's very different in the way that normally like the way you think about it, right you, you cannot for example if you touch a normal pool at least the way we used to play it if you touch an enemy ball first like he did right now <laughs> he used to do it really badly by the way i would be able to place my white anywhere right but here it's not the case so you can actually hit his balls if you'd like i'm just gonna go with the red here i think try to go like this Perfect. Very, very nice. By the way, so there have been a couple of people who have been playing pool a little bit differently. So I'm curious about how you play it at home. Is that, or wherever you play pool, is that uh, if you. Is he going to pocket the black? He pocketed the black! Ooh, we won! We won! All right, let's do two match. Okay, this time we'll play against Fern Fernando Cortez. Okay. Now. He starts. Now, what I want to ask is if you finish pocketing all your balls, the way we used to play it was that you had to pocket the black into the opposite hole that you pocketed your last of your color, right? But the way the other people play it is that they, they uh, can say to which hole they want to pocket the black and then they aim for that. They just have to say the right one. So I'm quite curious about how you play because I think it's very interesting, like it differs quite a bit in rules because in our case, usually the longest it would take you would be to pocket the last color, last ball of your color because you knew like if you pocket it into a wrong hole, it's going to be difficult to go to the opposite with the black. But if you can just say with the black, then I feel like the matches are much faster. So he pocketed some of mine. So I think we'll just go straight to this one and hit it up. Let's do it. Oh, that was too weak. That was a fail. Okay, I was too focused on talking. Never mind. So now he gets to choose wherever he wants to go. See? That's actually pretty good for him. Why is he aiming at the black? Well, actually, he can because there's no penalty for that. But I keep forgetting. I'm like, seriously? Ooh, that was a really good one on his part. Really, really nice. I can't quite get used to that here. It's just like always like, no, you can't touch that. Let's go really strong here. We might be able to just pocket them both if we go like super strong. Because remember, there's no penalty for hitting the black. Oh, but we all didn't manage to do that. It's okay. We have equal number of balls though, so I guess that's pretty good. That was a really big mistake, that one. But it is what it is. It's kind of strange when it's on a computer because it requires a different set of skill than in real life pool. Like in real life pool, you have a long one by now. But here it's like, ah. Uh... I mean, we gotta do something to we go like that. No, but then the, this red is just gonna go into it. So let's just go straight and maybe hope he makes a mistake like I did. But I don't think he will. Actually, he might be unable to go to the yellow. No, he can still go at the yellow. Okay. 
He's gonna make a mistake and hit the red instead. See? We did it! Thank you, man. Even if he didn't pocket it, we would have... This will allow us to win. Because he made the mistake. Just like, I used, I used voodoo. I witched him. I used my sorcery to destroy him. <laughs> I actually don't know how to do voodoo, sorry. That would have been fun. Like, imagine using voodoo at pool. It's like such a waste of resources. You can't do voodoo properly. Use it on something important. <laughs> and not pool. Especially not computer pool. Like, at least real life pool. Oh, and the way we also used to play this, if you pocketed the white with the black, you would lose. Here, I don't think it has any effect. You just, you just end. Now, I don't want to play the next match. Instead, so we're going to go back to the main menu and... We are going to pick a slightly different setup. So you can go into the options here and you can change some of the gameplay options. First of all, we, currently we have, um, we can have all shots free, only break is free, no shots are free or random placement. So we're gonna go with random placement because I think it's quite interesting. And we can have eight ball presence or not present. We're gonna have eight ball presence. Aiming guide is on, skip AI matches, normal speed player rules, tutorial turn off. And then we're gonna pick a new game. We're gonna play this time. We're gonna do a solo game. No, let's do a single match. We'll play against, I don't know, Madeline Ragdoll. I like that name. We'll play on the green surface. And instead of the docking, we'll go with Let's go with Tenjuko, which are three black balls. And the way that works is whoever pockets the last black ball wins. So I did a test run with this and I pocketed two out of the black and I still lost because it's the last one that matters. Wowza. Ooh, Moneyline Ragdoll is real good. This is gonna be difficult. This is gonna be very, very difficult. I'm gonna try to go here. Try to aim it so it goes into the other red, maybe? <laughs> That's a bit bad. <laughs> I can see how, you can see how much worse it is in the future snooker game, because in the future games, if you pocketed, you kept going. And I'm so used to, like, um, to play in a way that I pocket one and I can keep going. While here, it's more like you have to sort of focus on pocketing multiple at once, which I feel like is a lot more difficult angle-wise, so... Yeah. And also, I'm so not used to the fact that I can hit other balls first. Like, not mine. So I'm not even looking at that option. We just go safe. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think we had an option. And we've got random placement now, so you can see that she's starting in a completely different position than we would have. But what's cool now is that the, her yellow are kind of hidden in between the red. Which, again, is useless because she can hit my red. I keep forgetting about it. Like, I'm literally playing the game and telling you the rule. And then five seconds, like, oh, I can do a snooker thing in full here and make her have to go on mine. Like, no, you can't. Let's let's hit this one up. Yeah, I think I'm going to lose this. Though, to be fair, she has to pocket all three black. So we could do what happened to me is that I, I finished much faster. But... Um, because she had to pocket it all the black, I could kind of... She swooped in at the last black and just, like, did it. So we'll try that. Let's hit this one up. Whoa. I was afraid I'll pocket the black, but it's fine. It's fine. Clearly we are doing better at the first setup with one black ball instead of multiple. It's interesting also to play, I think, with none, because then it's, like, non-black balls, I mean. It's just, like, whoever gets their own first wins and that's it. Right? And see now, she still has to pocket a lot of the black balls, but I can focus on my red one, so she's gonna be like... You know, so like I said, we, we can still win this. Because of the three black balls, we can still win this. She's doing really well. Like, she has played this kind of pool before. She's like, of course I did, I'm the master at future pool, you newcomer. Well, you don't need to call me a newcomer, but you are a newcomer. Oh, whatever. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Just the right trick. See, and I'm gonna win because she's gonna pocket only one, I hope. Oh no, she's gonna pocket them both. Is she gonna pocket them both? She didn't. And I won. This is exactly what I wanted to do. I stole the victory from her. How dare you, newcomer, take my victory. It was mine. I know. It was yours. And I stole it just like you stole it from me in my test game. Might have been some other opponent. 
But who cares? It was close enough. If we do one more, let's do one more with a slightly different style. We'll do a single match again. And we'll do... Hamza? Two black balls? Let's try no black balls, like, because we, I want to show off the options. So let's go for game rules. No, sorry. Let's go for options. Gameplay options? No black balls. Uh-uh. No, no. And we could do free placement all the time? No. Well, actually, if we do it, the AI is going to destroy me, destroy me and... Are we going to end it on a lot? Let me show you. It's going to be fun. Let's do... I guess it doesn't matter which one we do, because we should... There should be no black balls, so... We'll play again Hattie Swalox. And my prediction is that she will destroy me. And I'll tell you why. It's because we get the free aim. So they can calculate the perfect way to aim in a way that would... Let's, let's maybe try... I don't know, like that. In a perfect way that would allow her to pocket a lot of balls. And I don't... Wow! Oh my god! That was amazing and I did not see that coming at all. Ooh! What are you doing, girl? Okay. Don't ask me! Just watch! Just watch. Alright. Now, if we could hit the red in the right angle, we could try to do something really cool. Maybe pocket them both. Maybe like this? Is that the right angle? Let's try this. It's probably not the right angle. It didn't. Just an inch away. <laughs> well, I'm glad the aiming guide is on. It's a little bit more difficult to, to get the calculation of the angles like that. Oh, I think she's gonna pocket a lot of balls. She's really good at this, but she's a computer, so of course she's good at angles. I'm not a computer! I am a real person! How dare you call me a computer? My name is Heidi Swalox. I have a favorite horse on my ranch. And, and... And the horse only exists when I'm there. Oh, so... Maybe I am a computer? I'm confused! What is happening? I'm having an existential crisis! But at least I'm good at pool! Someone once asked me if I'm real. <laughs> I thought it was really funny. I was a little confused, but then I was like, yeah, you know what? It's actually a really funny question. So, seriously? Okay. <laughs> this is what happens to me if I want to say something funny or just think about saying something funny, and then I'm like, total mess. You know, never mind. Never mind. You know, I just wanted to play a little bit longer, because if I pocketed, it would just be over too fast. Thank you! Hedy Swalox gave me the victory! Alright, so that was easy then. <laughs> Let's just ignore that last very bad shot, please. We're not going to talk about it, okay? No talking about it. No comment about it. I usually ask for comments, but no comment about that. Alright, so this is Future Pool. I hope you enjoyed the video. You can check out the game in the link below. And I'll see you in the next... Oh, and you can click on the right top to watch my future snooker video. Or you can click on the right bottom to watch a game. And I won't tell you which game, because it's a surprise. See you there. Bye-bye.